Welcome to Evolution Snowboarding, Part 2, Level 1, Boomtown. This is the first actual level you'll visit once you get out of the tutorial section. And so this is kind of, this will be the first video of actual gameplay in, you know, the sense of all the mechanics being there and the first video where you'll see the actual experience of playing Evolution Snowboarding. Okay, so we see there's a zone or a whatever called Boomtown. Yeah. You've got four missions and a bunch of locked ones. Yeah. What does that mean? Each area has ten missions, but when you go in there for the first time, you'll only have a few available to you. You have to pass missions to get to the next mission. Okay. And each mission, you can get a bronze, silver, or gold medal on it. Or you could fail the mission, but okay. to pass it, you could get one of three rankings. Bronze is... Hurrah, you passed, you get the next mission, and you get some points, but not much. And silver is you get more points, and gold is you get the most points. And so the the first thing kind of new to this video is that boost I just did. To do that, the Z button, at least on GameCube, but the Z button is the boost button. You see, the boost bar isn't moving at all. You have to hold down the Z button while it slowly charges up. Like, to get it to 100%, you have to hold it for like a good six or so seconds. So... It's not that you're pressing the Z button to use boost. You're pressing and holding the Z button to charge up boost. Yeah. And then, when you release it, it uses all the boost. Yeah. Like, it uses all of the boost? Yeah. Could you, like, hold for a bit and then release and you charged up some and then, like, start holding again to... I don't think so. Okay. So, at the start... Yeah. Your character has, well, has no stats. There might be one stat that he had a little bit in, and you might have gotten some points just from going through the tutorial, but Rick McCrank, you know, he starts out, he starts out a little weak. And Started maybe, from the bottom. Now we're here. Now we're fucking uh, here. His attacks, well, it's like he's just slapping the opponents. His defense, he has no defense. His top speed, actually, I don't feel there's that much difference in top speed between, like, having a three and having an eight or so. Okay. His jumping, ha, huh, what jumping? You jump one inch and you fall back to the ground. Right, so maybe your stats are, maybe that's what the stat for jumping is listed in inches. <laughs> <laughs> that's your vertical. That's your vertical leaps. Maybe. And then the fifth one was technic or technique. You can either have a spin technique or a grind technique, which means, you know, you specialize in those areas. The, the body type I picked was a spin technique, so when I level it up, I'll be able to spin more. And spinning will actually be useful. You'll see later on in the video, once I get to play as a pro character, okay. that there's a special attack you get when you spin, but you're going to have to need, like, I think a 5 out of 10 at least to okay. spin. But it makes dealing with combat a little easier. Because, you see, combat's sort of clunky. You've got the X button to punch and the B button to kick. And the game doesn't really tell you jack. I kind of thought you just mashed the buttons and maybe you got better combos. But if you do, like, different directional directions and then the X or B buttons, you'll do different attacks. Huh. Okay. So I looked at the event I just did, and it was collect some keys. And so I thought, hey, it's just collecting keys. I'll go back into it and I'll get a gold. You know, I'll collect all the keys and I'll get a gold medal. Okay. I'll see what happens. So I decided to do that, because, I mean, gold will get you more points. Okay. So, hurrah. Yay. If you're expecting, like, mission-by-mission mission walkthroughs for this game, then sorry. The levels will probably consist of me playing through them to, to, to get to the end of them. But not really being like, alright, do this, then do this, then do this, you know? They'll kind of be me getting through the missions rather than really, so, really finding the best way through them. So these missions, you've got, it looks like new new areas of maybe the same track. Yeah. Uh, so maybe this is like one long track. Yeah, each track's one long track. And then they've just started you at different points. Yeah. For each mission. And then the goals are like kill a certain number of guys, collect a certain number of objects, what else? The race through checkpoints and get to the end with a certain amount of time left, or just get to the end. Again, bronze requirements would just be destroy a certain amount of enemies, get to the end at all. Huh. But, uh, so I've done three missions, and I was surprised when this happened. Hey, you 
traitorous rat! Not only have you deserted, you have made a lot of trouble! Your big mistake was to choose my patch first! I'll cut you up with my chainsaw! <laughs> Couple questions. Uh, a one. Did it just advance you to the last mission? Yeah, I was really surprised when this happened because I didn't know much about this game. Like, there's not much online for this game, and it's not like I played through it first. Right. This is kind of my first time through it. I sort of assumed, you know, all right, the missions will stay the same after like the first level. I should get enough practice from getting through the game beforehand. But I was like, wait, why the hell am I on the last mission? Because even I knew the boss would be the last mission. Right, and it said mission 10. Yeah, I went from mission 3 to mission 10, so I was really kind of confused. And so I didn't. So have... you really haven't cut anything out. You just literally did yeah. mission 1, 2, 3, 10. Yeah. I, I'm a little worried, and I'm a little worried because I didn't get time to, like, increase my stats. Oh, anything. yeah. And I... Ow? I'm. I'm yeah, it's like I start out well and then it just goes to shit. Okay, here's here's another question for you. Uh, Boomer's name, right? Yeah. Boomer has a chainsaw. Yeah. And the chainsaw has electricity on it. Yeah. But it's a gas-powered chainsaw. Yes. It's a gas-powered electric field. Okay. Uh, why is it so big? Because he's Boomer. Okay. You think uh, he's gonna sell for anything less? Fair point. Um, so the levels are one long level. Like I started at right, the very okay. start, and I've gone through the different sections, and I'm gonna keep going through the sections because this boss fight is not going very well. Yeah. Okay. The uh, UI looks pretty self-explanatory. Um, I see your health there. How did you get health back? I went over a chicken leg, and I got health back. Must not have seen it, but the, uh, there are a few, like, the power-ups come in a few colors, I'd say, because of the color that, you know, the little radius is on the ground. I think one of them's coming up now. But I think, like, the chains, there's uh, a little yellow circle on sure, the ground yeah. around them, like you just saw the right. On the right, yeah. The, the baseball bat has a red circle, and the, like, little health power-ups, which there are, like, usually one or two in a level, have the blue circle. Okay. So... Mm -hmm. But there's usually only one or two of those in the entire, like, level. Ooh, that took big chunks out of his health. Yeah. So, well, I was gonna say, if you were to reach the end of this stage before you took out Boomer... I think you'd lose. You'd lose. And, so I don't know what happens when you lose to a boss, because so far this is the hardest boss, because you don't have any attack stats. Yeah. Your attacks are weak as hell. Um, I, you know, around the, around halfway through that, I was like, maybe I should just lose, because <laughs> like this is getting dumb, lose and then, yeah. because I'm, I'm not getting any very far, but after well, beating the boss, you get a professional rider. Oh, okay, so you're, f you've done four missions in the game. Yeah. And you've already unlocked someone who has way better stats, presumably. Yeah. And I can select the next area. And I was going to do, like, a viewer decide thing here. Like, I was thinking I could back out and not have to choose right now. Uh, but I ended up having to choose right now, so we're going to Falls and Creeks next time. Okay. I can give you time to read the little description. Uh, do you maybe want... You could still do that for, like, a future thing. If you want to, like, uh, look into... I don't know. I don't know. That's a little... Much... A little hassle. So, I don't know what happened if I'd lose to the boss there. Like... Would it kick me back to, like, mission 4, 5, and 6, and I'd have to do some of them before getting another shot? Or could I go back to the boss and try again, immediately? I mean, why would they give you 10 missions if you could... Achievement rate, 20%. Why would they give you 10 missions if you could always face the boss after doing 3? Like, I skipped 4 through 9. Yeah. And then, by beating 10... You unlocked four through nine. You yeah. didn't even unlock like four. Yeah. So, then, okay. I saw the message that said you can only play as Rick McCrank for the boss fight, oh, okay. and that got me to think. 
I unlocked a character. Cool. First, uh, do Look at I... points. I think I went a little slow in here just because I was really confused by what was right. going on. What just happened? Yeah. But I said, all right, I unlocked a character who has really great stats. Wow! You're not even going to give me someone, like, comparable to my guy off the board. You're going to give me someone, like, really, really, really good. Really, really good, yeah. And then I can take him into the missions, and as long as it's not the boss fight, I can use him to do these much easier, at least at the very start. Okay, so now you're playing as Danny Cass doing Mission 4. Yeah. And... And I think I show off, yeah, that little Whoa. electrical charge. You just, like... Okay. What the fuck? When the game doesn't fuck up... You just do a spin, and you can, like, take people out with that. Damn. And it sends, I like... I mean, is it, is it at all intuitive, or is, is it still clunky as shit? I mean, okay, so we looked up, and and uh, Winter X Games 2002... Yeah. The, the game that I did a Let's Not Play of because it was so bad I couldn't get through a single event. That was also a Konami game. And I was thinking it was, because this is basically that, the sequel. Um, which huh. means... To spin or to flip, you just hold left or right on the control stick when you jump, and then you'll just spin an arbitrary amount before you land. That's weird. Like, it's kind of hard to control your spinning or flipping, and a few times in this game I've been like, oh, damn it, I'm going to start doing another rotation and fall over, aren't I? Huh. You know, instead of kind of snapping to the end of backflips or snapping to the end of spin. I don't know what to make of this. Yeah. this is... but so the spin move will not only like hurt people with the actual spin itself, but it'll charge up like an electrical jolt that will hit someone else. And backflips also do so. But huh, you're moving pretty fast. Yeah, I guess there is technically there will be a difference in the top speeds, but I feel I didn't feel slow as Rick McCrank. You know, last. Last game we were talking, we had there was some discussion about whether a game, how fast a game should make you feel, and how how the the game. Oh my Christ! I think this is a good speed. I think this is a that, good speed. That full boost was pretty fast. But like the mechanics in this game are bad, but but yeah. the speed feels fine. The fe speed feels. I fine. I think the reason the speed feels fine. Versus why 1080 Avalanche, I thought, felt too fast was because you were accelerating too fast in Avalanche. Yeah. In this game, you do accelerate fairly quickly, but you reach your top speed not as fast as Avalanche did. Avalanche was like, you know, pause a second and you're already at your top speed uh, without boost. And then in this, like, without using boost... You know, right now you're about at top speed, right? And, yeah. You know, and then... Okay, now you've slowed down. And now you're back at top speed. Like, you know, it, it, there's a little bit of a, a little bit of lead up yeah. to it. So, that's pretty cool. If you, you just yeah. boost right through them. If you couldn't tell, boosting hurts people. And grabs, you do grabs with the C-stick. But okay. I don't really... Like, they, uh, they, they, it's good they have grabs in there, but grabs don't, like, Do charge up any attack or get you more points in the points-based oh. events, because points-based events will be, like, collect icons throughout the level. Oh, okay. Um, I honestly don't remember how much I show in the video. Maybe I just back out and save right now, but I did go through the rest of the Boomtown events, or at least a few others, to get my points up. Uh-huh. To buy more stats. So this... This game is such a, a fucking hassle. Do you think you're gonna do a, a really, really comprehensive no. video LP? I mean, like... No, probably not. I think videos will be play up to whenever I get to warp to the boss, beat the boss, maybe do one event with the character I unlock, and, uh... Or two, yeah. And, then, and if you really need the points... Yeah. Like, here, this is what the, this is what the points-based events are like. Getting okay. those things in the level. Okay. Blue are worth one, yellow are worth like two, red are worth five, I think. Or something like that. Okay. I got launched into that last one. That was pretty swag. Yeah, that was pretty swag. So, maybe just play as much as you need to, but not like 100%. But, yeah, but not necessarily show and it, I mean, videos. if you if you end up needing more points, you can always go back 
off cam. And, yeah, yeah. And do and, things. Just and grind sure that out. Cam. Yeah. Yeah. But, but that's... I moved up to 220,000 points. Which in the early game, that'll buy you, you know, a few stats. Sure. Uh, obviously, I think I think each stat moves up by 20,000 to advance it to the next ranking. Right. So to go from like a 9 to a 10, I think you'd need like 200,000 or around it. Yes. Yeah. But this game does keep a track of exactly how much you've played, so you'll be able to see when I'm five hours into this stupid game. Uh, I don't know. It's so I don't want to put words in your mouth, but it sounds like this game is a complete pack of dicks. It's a clusterfuck. A clusterfuck of dicks. But yeah, um, it's all right. It's all right. It, it's worth. Seeing as far as packs of dicks go, it's not the worst. It's not the worst. So would you say this I have is... passed an event which I could not do in in Winter X Games, if you remember. So is that game worse than this? Uh, yeah. Okay. Evolution okay. snowboarding. Evolution I'll see you guys when we go to Falls and Creeks.